All right, so we're back from our trip uh, from Anza Borrego. Obviously, like I mentioned in my other video, um, I removed the uh, middle seats and I removed the back seats uh, to give us room to sleep in this. Uh, like I mentioned, it was very comfortable. Uh, maybe a little bit more padding would have been good, but as far as be able to fit two people here, full extended, um, five eleven, uh, fit perfect. Didn't have no issues with my feet hanging off this edge. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I know there's companies that make uh, um, complete uh, flat covers or whatever um, for these rigs and stuff like that, but I want to keep my middle seat so if I do have a trip and stuff like that, I could have people in here. So eventually, at one point or another, I'm going to end up going with uh, drawers in the back and having a back setup behind the center, uh, center row seats. But today I'm going to show you guys, because I didn't show you guys um, how to remove uh, the seats. I'm going to show you how to install them. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put the lightest one first. Well, actually, let's just do the, the big boy first. So the two-seater first, and then we'll go from there. All right, so um, if you have help, it's better because this thing is very heavy. If I had to assume, actually, you want to do is move the seat forward and pitch it to kind of make it a little easier because, as you know, the seat folds this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it... Uh, at a 90 degree angle um, inside. So if you have help, it's better because this thing is very heavy. If I had to guess anywhere from 80 to 90 pounds. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to get this thing in here without looking silly or without hurting myself. Again, for another video, we're gonna change the fuel pump and I know the fuel pump is right here and we're gonna probably end up having to do the same thing and removing the carpet. So. There's these, these slit, the slots right here. We're gonna slide in right into this little place right here. And let me see if I can get you guys zoomed in. Uh, now that I got you guys zoomed in, we're gonna show you. Again, be careful, this thing is super heavy. We're gonna go ahead and lift it. And slide it in into place just like that, holding this back side because it has to spring loaded. So these are four bolts, two here, here, two here. What we're gonna do is put them in by hand first. Make sure you don't mess up the threading. The top one fell right in. We're gonna thread it by hand and we're going to do the same thing with the top this side And then we're gonna go ahead, let's make sure that I got this one right. I'm sure, it's a little easier, like I mentioned, if you had two people helping you out. You wanna make sure you don't mess up the threading on here. So let's move it over a little bit, go up a little bit, like that. Actually, let me jump in, and maybe make this a little easier. So, so we can line it up better. There we go. Always got to make sure that you don't mess up the threading because you're gonna if you're gonna have to be removing and removing <coughs> remo removing and reinstalling you want to make sure that everything goes in as smooth as possible the same thing we're gonna do with this side so 
So we get this side in, put a little pressure so that it holds, you're able to screw it down. We got, now that we got the bottom one in, we got the top one. So, so we're tying this one up completely by hand. <coughs> so once you get the bottom one done right, it, it works perfectly and, and the top one just slides, uh, screws, screws, screws right in. We're gonna go ahead and use a 14 millimeter with an extension and a ratchet. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the bottom one. Just as tight as I can get it myself with just one hand. Don't wanna over tighten it. The same we'll do to this side. So now we'll move on to this side. So the single seat's a little easier. It's not so so heavy as the other one. Wow, fresh fry. Um, so we're gonna, gonna do the same steps. We're gonna move the passenger seat forward to give us that space. Uh, at least you could do is just uh, inc incline it all the way to the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide it right in just like that. We're gonna use two bolts there like the other one and two bolts here. Same process as this side. We're gonna go ahead and guide it just by finger tightening it and make sure that we got it lined up. And this one will be a lot easier because it's a lot lighter. All right, now that we got both of them, uh, all four uh, screws put in, um, I always wanna make sure that we put this in safely here so that we don't have issues in it cutting up or catching on the hook. So just make sure we you tighten this up, make it look nice. Then you just go ahead and bring it down. And that should be good to go. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing to that side. Again, right here, we're going to go ahead and put everything through here. And just like that, uh, if you repeat the process backwards, you'll go ahead and remove them. So this is how you remove a center seat from a, a Land Cruiser 100 series. Again, if you wanna remove them, if you wanna remove them, whoa, maybe. Ah, wrong one. There you go. If you wanna remove them, just follow the steps behind. Remove these two bolts here and pull it out. With this one, you're gonna might need some help. Um, and with that one, you should be good to do it. But if not, you have two people, it uh, works better. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching how to remove this uh, center seat from a Land Cruiser 100 series. And I appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe and make sure to watch my other videos to all my other cars, Land like including the Red Eclipse and inc including the white GSX Angry Panda. So I appreciate you guys watching and thanks for supporting. Hey, found another thing. And last step, and I almost forgot this step, is the caps that go to here. They should just snap right on. Should be it. 
just like the other one just like that and we should be set